My outrageous prediction is that Ari Wasserman is going to have a rockin' good time on Saturday. Doug Maurice, Bill Landis, Ari Wasserman. Who will be at a wedding for Northern Illinois, Ohio State on Saturday, which means it'll be me and Bill. Ari, before you leave us, what is your outrageous prediction for the Buckeyes and the Huskies? The Las Vegas crew is getting back together. It's going to be a good time. One of them is getting married. Best friends in the world, Phoenix, Arizona. I'll be dead by kickoff. Uh, we will try to check on that <laughs> to confirm uh, whether or not you are dead. Bill, your outrageous prediction. Just real quick, remember last week when I said Hawaii would throw for the most passing yards against Ohio State all year, and you guys thought I was crazy because you wouldn't know until November whether or not that was true? They threw for 65 yards. It's definitely not true. So it's not true already? <laughs> yeah, it's not true already. Uh, my outrageous prediction is that Cardell Jones will throw six touchdown passes against Northern Illinois, which would tie the record for a game. Uh, JT Barrett did it last year against Kent State. Kenny Guyton did it against Florida A&M. Uh, I think Northern, no Northern Illinois excuse me, is much better than both those teams, but I think uh, this is finally the week that Ohio State's offense gets clicking and Cardale tosses six touchdown passes. I think we're reverse reversing the thinking, which I think is makes it right possibly, yeah. like because last week we said they would kill Hawaii and then they didn't, and Northern Illinois is like a real team, mm -hmm. and – you would think, well, if they couldn't kill Hawaii, I mean, 38 nothing is still, but they didn't cover. Um, and they didn't dominate. They didn't dominate. I mean, like people say, well, they won 38 nothing. It's like, well, yeah, but, I mean, everybody who watched it knows they were not dominant for large stretches. So then you'd think, well, if they did that, then they'll have trouble with Northern Illinois. But I think it's, I'm more with this. I think we're back on Northern Illinois is better, but they're ready to be good. Right. So I'm going to say Ezekiel Elliott has two runs of at least 40 yards. I think they're going to pop some stuff uh, through this Northern Illinois defense, which is a bit more of a normal base look. I think they'll get some better blocking on the edges, which makes those runs happen. And I think Ezekiel Elliott will get loose a little bit. Because, again, people said, well, he gained 100 yards last week. Well, I mean, in college football with the elite teams, 27 carries for just over 100 yards is not like, is not like great stuff, right? I mean, like, I, that's, not a, that's not really a threshold anymore when you get that many carries. Not for a team that could be this good. Yeah. All right. Good luck staying alive. For Ari, for Bill, I'm Doug Maurice. Those are our outrageous predictions here at Cleveland.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for reading. And you can catch our podcast on SoundCloud and now on iTunes, the Bad Podcast. That's for Bill, Ari, Doug, B-A-D, Bad Ohio State Podcast, and also for our terrible coverage. Thanks for watching. <laughs>